Hello Aries, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Um, thank you so much for um, coming here, for clicking here. I do appreciate you. For those of you who always click here, thank you, thank you, thank you. A thousand times thank you. If you're brand new, because I've seen some newbies come by this uh, short last little while. If you are new and you are clicking here as a cross watcher or you, are, you do have Aries in your sun, moon or rising, Venus or Jupiter, then welcome. I hope you will stay. And uh, here we go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Aries. Aries. What's coming up for the week ahead for you, Aries? Aries. All right. We have... Hmm... So we have um, the Seven of Cups, we have the Hierophant, we have the Princess of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Aries, this is interesting. So the Seven of Cups tells me that there is some emotional um, overwhelm. It's like you're trying to make an emotional decision. You're trying to make a decision that has a lot of emotion around it and you're having a hard time doing that. You're feeling confused, feeling overwhelmed, and it feels like it's not that you don't know the decision you want to make, but it almost feels like it's too overwhelming to make the decision you know you have to make. And um, I feel like your, your psychic self or your higher self is kind of all over the place. This could have something to do with the Taurus, doesn't have to, but we do have the Hierophant here, who is Taurus. Um, you could be feeling overwhelmed by um, a sense or a duty, a responsibility that you know that, um, that you feel as though you must either learn more about, dig into more, or have more knowledge about. When I see these two together and they don't often come out side by side sometimes in the same reading, it's like when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And so you can pick which one you are. Maybe you're the student, maybe you're the teacher, maybe you are the student looking for the teacher, maybe you are the one who is looking for the higher self um, or needing more knowledge about it. It almost feels like it's foreign to you. It feels like it's a lesson you haven't yet learned and that is about your spirituality and that you do have the ability to tap into the next realm or um, you have a, a connection with spirit that you don't understand that is is quite strong here I feel um, I feel as though there is for some of you a spiritual teacher in your life that you learnt from this person gives you knowledge or teaches you things about yourself and how to connect to your gut maybe about spiritual things how to connect to the higher self I feel as though you want to communicate with this person uh, we have the Eight of Wands. It could be communication. I feel as though um, that there's communication about something you've learned that you want to speak to the spiritual teacher about or the Taurus. And I feel with the Seven of Cups that it's overwhelming you to make the decision to actually reach out and communicate. It feels like an overwhelming emotional... Um, it's, it's, it's not only that this is an emotional thing, but I think your life is emotional right now. It feels like a, an emotional overwhelm, and in all of that, you are also trying to understand the lesson, I feel. Just listening. You could also be watching a Taurus. Thank you, Charlie. You could be watching a Taurus. Um, online or in the neighborhood or maybe you saw that person see that person regularly on your route to work or something like that maybe you want to get to know this person you want to know more about them you're curious because that's who the the princess of swords is being the page the page of swords um, in this deck and I feel like you're curious about spiritual things your spirituality your higher self how to find the higher self how to tap into your energy as a spiritual being and i feel like you know someone who either has taught you that or is willing to teach you that or it's just time for you to um to ground yourself in some sort of a a spiritual practice and you're not sure how to do that or if you believe in that that's what it feels like. I feel like you want to talk to someone about that. But that someone feels familiar here. 
it feels like someone you already know that is um it could be someone of clergy absolutely thank you charlie could be someone of clergy it could be a, a psychologist or a psychiatrist that you're learning from that you're trying to get help with this overwhelming feeling of wanting to make have some sort of communication with someone could be a Taurus, but doesn't have to be Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to ground yourself within spirituality. That's what it feels like. That's what you're learning how to do. You're trying to figure out what's real and what's not, what's true and what's not. And honestly, this is very common for someone who is just starting to understand that they are a spiritual being living in a human body. This is something when you are um, at the very beginning of your learning, learning who you are and what you are, that the person or that the spirit inside of the body, it's like the hand inside the glove, that's what makes it move, right? The glove doesn't move without a hand inside it, neither does your body. So you're, you're finally realizing, Aries, I think, that you have um, a spirit within you that is actually moving the glove, moving the body, right? The King of Pentacles tells me that um, there is... Um, I feel some spiritual grounding that's needed here. And um, I said that before because Taurus is the Hierophant, but the King of Pentacles is now here. I feel as though that your love for money has been uh, blocking you from spiritual experiences or from your spirituality. Um, I feel like an overwhelming... Um, an overwhelming feeling of having to produce. I feel that your worth is attached to your production. And I feel like the overwhelming need to produce, to bring money, to be financially stable, to be the provider, I feel is now, it feels overwhelming for you. Because I think somebody here has realized that money is not the most important thing. That happiness is the most important thing and money doesn't make you happy. Money gives you things that are of material value that others might envy, but that's really all it gives you. It can give you freedom, absolutely, um, but please understand that money and happiness are not really in correlation. Some of the most richest people in the world are miserable. The, the Hierophant here, we've got the Three of Wands. I feel as though you know this person because it feels like you've been waiting on some sort of a connection or to take, to take action here, Aries. It is someone that you have feelings for that you want to communicate with. You could, you could either be the person who uh, is the student or the teacher and you have feelings for someone here, whether they are the student or the teacher. I feel like you really um, have the, you feel the need to move forward. The Three of Wands is waiting. And I feel like you're waiting until you feel strong enough to move forward because right now you're in emotional overwhelm for some reason. I feel like you're, you've had some sort of an, a, an epiphany or a higher self-realization that what is most important is who you are with, who you love, the people in your life, the people in your family. I feel like that now that you have built up your pentacles and you realize now that money doesn't correlate to happiness, those two things are very separate things. I feel like you now have the strength to move forward and possibly either find the teacher or the student. So you've been disconnected from this person that you want to connect with. The Three of Wands is telling me that you, um, you have been waiting, but your toes are off the edge and you want to go. You've been manifesting someone. Um, I feel with the Eight of Cups that you have been disconnected from this person emotionally or possibly from yourself, Aries. You could have been disconnected from you. And the, um, the Seven of Cups is telling me that the overwhelm might be because you are now starting to connect to the higher self, which, by the way, you can't do if you don't feel your emotions. You just can't. I feel you have been manifesting love, and now it's either time for you to talk to that person about it, or you're manifesting for them to connect with you. But I feel this has to do with love because we have the Two of Cups. For some of you, it could be that you're manifesting something that you love. 
and you're going to speak up about it. Um, not necessarily to a person, but possibly a situation. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. It is time. Divine timing is here, Aries. So if you're wondering if you're supposed to speak up or reach out or make that phone call or send the text or hit send on the email, the Wheel of Fortune says, yes, it's time to do that. It's time for you to reach out. Um, the magician for me is Aries. So now we have Aries and Taurus here. We have um, the King of Pentacles, who is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And the King of Pentacles is someone who doesn't really have to reach out for opportunities to make uh, money or to build their pentacles. Now the opportunities are reaching out for them. That tells me someone is really in their magician energy. Somebody is into their regular manifesting energy of the things that they love. And now they're going for the big deal, I think. I think it's a person next that you've decided you can manifest. Seven of Wands. Hmm. I also look what, what's behind the Seven of Wands. I feel like you're feeling defensive about a large chapter, a very significant chapter in your life that's coming to an end. And I feel that it makes you feel like people are coming at you and giving you their opinions on that. Um, my suggestion is to drown out those opinions with whatever it is that you love to do. The uh, world card tells me that there's a significant chapter in your life that's coming to an end. So you've closed on a house or you've bought a vehicle or a house. Um, you have a divorce. You have a relationship that's come to an end. There's Or you've changed jobs. Maybe you've been in one, one um, type of job one sector for a very long time and you're making the switch up to a completely different sector you might be quitting quitting your job to go to school because we do have the uh the page of swords here which is the student right i feel like you want to reconnect to someone and i say reconnect because the world is connected to the eight of cups and someone you disconnected from, I feel as though you want to reconnect to that person after you close the major chapter. You've been manifesting this, this deep love, this person that you see as all loving and kind, the person who is the giver, the one that is giving all the time. That's the person I feel that is time for this Wheel of Fortune I feel that the divine timing, if it is about love, the divine timing with this person is now. They could have Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer in their chart. Mm, yeah. So I feel the major chapter that's closed in your life has brought you to your single life. So that tells me it's a relationship that is closed out, Aries. So it's either divorce or a major a major relationship, whatever it was, is, is done. And I feel that leaves you in your single energy or individual energy where it's time for you to uh, move forward. I think you have fear. I feel as though you still... Um, um, after this this whole chapter closes, you still carry an attachment, which tells me that there could be children from this family. Um, there could be just fear. There could be the feelings of being not enough, um, depending on how this ended. If someone ended it with you or you ended it with them, it could be the feelings of not feeling enough in love, and that's why you haven't moved forward yet. It could also be that you just want to be single and clear, free and clear of anything else that happens before um, you move forward right um but i feel like your your block right now is the fear the fear that the love that you want does not want you but understand that the queen of cups is touching the magician so what you want does want you and the universe is here to tell you so we have three major arcana right we have the wheel of fortune and that is all the fixed signs so that means we're rolling forward here aries and we're not going back so um the world and the uh, wheel of fortune here fixed signs which means we make the decision we go at it slow we look over all the details we make the decision and we never go back so um it is is fixed energy right which is uh scorpio aquarius leo and uh taurus again taurus energy um but we have aries energy here as well um we have Capricorn energy here. Something that's been taking a long time. The Prince of Pentacles is the Knight. So it's something that you've been either wanting to do for a long time or this 
whatever it is that's coming to an end you let it carry on far too long and now you're bringing it to an end but the reason that you're you're kind of worried or scared or have fear of what's going to happen in love is because it's taken so long to to become single i feel like you um closed a relationship so you are becoming single and it's taken years for some of you we've got three pentacles on that card it could be three years um I feel, because pentacles are years, I feel like, yeah, you feel it's been taking too long. This person's not going to want me. They're going to think that I'm toxic. Um, moving forward, it looks like you are moving forward. Six of swords. Yeah, princess of pentacles is the page. And we have the hermit in reverse. You now want to be seen. Going into the very near future, you want to be seen. You want to have a brand new start. It is time to move forward with the six of swords. The Six of Swords I also see as a card of knowledge and learning because you've, it's like you, all you're taking with you is what you've learned and that's those Six Swords. Communications and connections, knowledge and learning that you, that you collected from this situation here. So I feel like in the week ahead um, that you will be, you will be moving forward, uh, possibly single or at least having closed a chapter with someone else to open it with some, another person. I don't think that you close the chapter in order to open another chapter. I feel like the, the chapter that closed naturally closed. You became emotionally detached. It became overwhelming. Money was more important than people. I feel as though your spiritual self or your higher self was really, was really nagging at you to learn something, to learn something from the situation. I feel like your higher self appears. So it feels like that you either um, realize that you are the spiritual being or uh, you get counsel from someone who helps you in this realization. But it's something that you've learned and it's, make, it's making you want to leave. Yeah. Leave for someone that you're in love with, Two of Cups, or that you want to exchange love with. And um, we have the uh, eight right of the eight of wands which means communication it's time for you to move on you want to be seen the hermit is in reverse which tells me and the hermit and the hierophant are both incredibly highly spiritual teachers right so you've learned something here you've learned something you've been hermiting for a while and you've learned enough now that you can move forward aries so i think in the week ahead you are moving forward to this two of cups um with this with the deep feeling of love or possibly towards someone who is a, um, a Scorpio, Pisces, a Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, any of the fixed signs. We've got Taurus here. We've got um, Aries here. Yeah. So it really could be uh, Virgo as well. Sorry. Um, we've got Virgo there as well. After going over all the details, I think it's time for you to connect with someone or something or a situation. Yeah. That you're really, that really makes you feel love, that you love the situation or love the person, depending on what it is for you. But you are going to open up and connect with someone or a situation or be more open about how you're feeling because uh, it is time. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune's here and it is time. Prince of Wands in the reverse. You're not going in just for the passion. You're not. And I think you're going to go in steadily and seriously, to be honest. Five of Swords, you have something to fight for. And that is, I feel, someone offered you a cup and you didn't take it. And I think you might be going back because there is a new cycle opening here for you. There you go. It comes right after the world card, right? It's about time to open a cycle because um, you're bored. You've, you've had nothing to do for a long while and you've not had, you know, I feel like that this love that you've had or this heart space has been dormant or or um, by itself for a while there hasn't been much going on you could have offered a cup to someone and they didn't take it or vice versa um yeah it looks like you're gonna fight for something and i feel like you're ready to go three of uh, wands is here prince of wands in the reverse it's time for you to get up and go and take action right now you're not taking any action but i do believe you're waiting for something to come to an end first so it kind of makes sense to me all right, Aries, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for coming here and clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you're interested in a private read, please look below. There is a yellow dot. You can follow over to Wizio where I'm doing readings in about seven to ten days. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye-bye.